Muy buena gente, bienvenidos a otro vídeo nuevo de Black Desert. En este caso ya estamos en Keplan. Bueno, realmente no, vamos a ir a Keplan a investigar sobre este tema de la enfermedad que convierte a la gente de piedra para ver cuál es la causa. Pero evidentemente yo creo que se sospecha ya que tienen que ver los cristales oscuros, ¿no? Porque están detrás de todo este tipo de cosas. Así que oficialmente comenzamos el sureste de Calfio. Espero que os guste el capítulo. Y bueno, estamos que estrenando una nueva clase, bueno, que realmente no es nueva, nueva no, pero sin el canal, que es la domadora. This place was once Marnie Farm, the largest farm south of Calfion. The owner of the farm, however, was known to be a bit of a freak. Have you heard of crazy scientist Marnie? He performed grotesque experiments, fusing and experimenting on different living creatures. No wonder there were monsters. Watch where you go. in Kepler soon enough. Petrification? It's a sickness where one turns hard as stone. There once were large quarries near Kepler, but the same fate happened to the workers there. I see many outsiders coming and going these days. I'm open for business, but don't have anything to help with a petrification illness. This village is dying because of the petrifying disease. It would be better for you to leave soon. I'm looking everywhere for a cure, but no luck so far. But we recently have some well-known alchemists visiting town. This is our last chance for survival, so we hope they're able to do something for us. You're all right. The stories they tell of you from here and afar are extraordinary. 
I heard what happened at the Forsaken Lands, but the sample of black crystal fragment was too small to discern what kind of alchemy was at play here. This is not an isolated incident. Keplin is suffering as well. The petrifying disease is going around, and even rocks at the quarry have begun animating. These incidents are on a scale the Forsaken Lands have never seen. We must stop this. First, go to Oze's house. There shall be an investigating officer there. There is literal junk moving around, so be careful.
is that way. Did you lose your way? What? You're from Kaplan? You came all the way here even after hearing about the petrification? You must be out of your mind. Do I know anything about the outbreak of petrification? Of course not. We are just living in constant fear here. I came to find Lady Oze. Could you give me a hand? The workers are too afraid of the disease. Could you see if it has any hints? <laughs> Why am I looking for Oze? She fell in love with a miner working in the quarries and ran away with him. say, but I heard the governor of Keplin might actually be a black wizard. Once Oze disappeared, the governor summoned all of the miners and cursed them with the foulest and vilest of words. And it was shortly after this the petrification started happening. direction is Oze Pass. There's no cure for the petrifying disease. Hamir went there as well. Probably after the stones from the quarry. Are you there, adventurer? It was you who returned from the Forsaken Lands unscathed. <laughs> How amazing! Uh, are you headed towards Oze Pass? Yeah, this is perfect! Uh, may I accompany you to Oze Pass? Everyone runs away when I mention Oze Pass. Such cowards! If you allow me to accompany you, uh, I'll give you a cut of whatever I make! You wish to go right now? Uh, j just a minute. We should wear masks if we want to avoid contracting the petrification disease. What did you hear? Suddenly the stones at the quarry started moving as if they were alive! 
Since the petrifying disease, humans are becoming stones, stones are becoming human. What is this world coming to? Alchemists are working on a cure, but it's not easy. They need stones from the quarry. The stones we do have are selling like hotcakes! Now is the time to give it your all! Alchemists are working on a cure, but it's not easy. They need stones from the quarry. The stones we do have are selling like hotcakes! Now is the time to give it your all! can spread from a single stone fragment. I'm not sure, but in the grand scheme of things, it's natural to take a risk in the name of money. Look over there! A saw and a catapult! Aren't the miners rocks now? How are they even being operated? We must destroy them before they attack again! It doesn't seem as if the rocks are imitating the miners. It also seems as if they've delegated roles to each other. Who or what is giving them these orders? Is it the quarry itself? Your skill is unparalleled. Can you bring me some of their weapons? They can sell even better than the stones! I want this all to be solved, but profit is profit!
statue of a miner we've seen! Do you think he was a work supervisor? A stone containing such power will be a clue! You have your work cut out for you this time! That's the biggest statue of a miner we've seen! Do you think he was a work supervisor? A stone containing such power will be a clue! You have your work cut out for you this time! Almost ended in disaster! The fundamental part of being a merchant? I heard black crystals are found, but they're trying to keep it quiet. Well, with that logic, they must be here too. If you stop the statues, I will look around! Easy, but it almost feels impossible to find these black crystals. That statue there. I can feel it's pierced in there. Maybe the moving miner statues were made here. This is something new! I want to take it back to Keplin to examine it, but it is much too large. What do you think, adventurer? Don't you want to look inside the quarry cave?
My sensibilities as a merchant tell me this is the spot. Yeah, Mark's the spot for what, you ask? The Black Crystals! I follow my gut, and my gut is telling me they're right here. Oh, did I just say my Black Crystals? I am a man of my word. Uh, look out! I scratch your back, you scratch mine. And I can't breathe very well. Am I beginning to petrify? <sighs> I'm wearing a mask to protect myself. Olgert bought one of these masks. It helps filter the air that you breathe in. If I can make my way back to Kevlin unscathed. <laughs> too vain. Everyone has different values and beliefs, don't they? In my case, it's just that I believe money to be most important. Feel it? There must be more rooms inside the cave. And more rooms means more statues! I promise you won't leave me behind! We have to have each other's backs on this! that I can gather many stone fragments, but I have to admit, it does get a bit frightening. I wasn't sure because it's so dark inside, but it's a black crystal pillar!
Hey, let's get closer and see what's going on! This is the largest black crystal I've ever seen! Now what did I tell you? No one has a better sense for these crystals than I do! <laughs> Man rushed to work. looks like a black crystal, yeah, but it's still a bit off the mark. To you, adventurer! I've gathered plenty of stone fragments and was able to see many interesting things! I'll never forget all that you've done for me! this in the quarry caves? I'm just delighted to see you in one piece, then. Hmm. As you said, there is an energy that I detect in this, similar to the energy found in a black crystal. But there is something else mixed in here. Something... evil. I can't be sure what, but suffice it to say this is indeed synthetic. Someone made this, and certainly for no great purpose. This does explain this situation, however. 
if such power was near the quarry rocks, he could indeed cause this petrifying disease and animate a variety of different objects. There's a black crystal extraction mill near Keplan as well. Could this actually be a form unique to the black crystals from Keplan? We still have so much to learn. There's a man named Clam Cessary, leading the anti-black crystal organization. Maybe he knows something. Could you meet with him and see what he has to say? Are you... <laughs> Don't be surprised. Not hard to notice since there haven't been many foreigners with the petrifying disease going around. If you have a favor, ask away. I'll do anything I can to help. Where did you get this? I've seen something like this before. An enormous thunderstorm one day shattered the ground and expose some fragments underneath that look like this. That was near Dias Farm, at the time anyway. Now everyone just calls that place the Forsaken Lands. It was different from other black crystals. The energy emitted from it was so strong, it felt like it was piercing through my skin. I sent a request to the Council but it was ignored. I tried to investigate on my own by forming this anti-black crystal organization, and they kicked me right out. Hmm, how suspicious. It must have required a lot of time and materials to create a black crystal like this. The one person I can think of skilled enough in alchemy to apply techniques from other disciplines is Marnie, the mad scientist. I heard he's not afraid to perform terrible, unethical studies to satisfy his experiments. Can you go to Marnie's lab? You will see the Glutoni cave on your way. I heard the Glutonis inside the cave have become hostile, so be careful. Continuaremos el resto que nos queda del siguiente 25% del sureste de Calcio en el siguiente vídeo también con la domadora. Y con una pequeña sorpresa después de llegar al 50% en esta aventura, no pórtense mal.